Hey Brick Boys and Brick Girls, it's your boy Brick Boy Lego and today we have a very spooky Lego set to review for you guys. We have a Disney set. Ooh. That's right, we have the mini Disney The Haunted Mansion set. This is set number 40521. Came with 680 pieces, retailed for $39.99. Came with one exclusive minifigure and released this year in 2022. And <clears throat> I don't know, when I first saw this set, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Maybe I'll pick it up. And then I did pick it up and then I built it. And here we are. So without further ado, why don't we just get right into her, shall we? So starting off, we have our little box here spinning around and there she is. And then you start the build and you have your one and only minifigure here sliding on back. And then you begin the main and only part of the build. You can see here the floor is starting to be built. I really like this orange color. I think it's pretty cool. And then you start building the sides of the mansion here. So far, these little green and translucent pieces are pretty effective for having a window, so I think that's kind of nice. Spin her around a little bit, and then you can start to build the interior, quote unquote. I think those little white minifigures are supposed to be people standing in line for the ride, so I think that's a cute little touch. And you're building onto the second floor, and man, I gotta tell you, it's a, a pretty tedious build here with these green and white and translucent one-by-one -one plates. It's um, definitely not the most exciting thing that I've ever built before. Then you're building the second stage of your play features here, and you get a little chandelier, so I think that's nice. And there's a little piece in there that we're going to talk about later um, that I think is pretty weird. And then you're building the third floor, and surprise, surprise, guess what we have to do again? Those same green, white, and translucent tiles. Then you're building little columns out here in the front yard, adding the little clips, one by one clips, onto the roof there. And then you are building the little steeple here. And then you're pretty much done with the build. So let's take a little closer look at our one and only minifigure and see what he looks like. So here he is, your ghoulish host. He looks definitely very tired. He looks like me before I get my coffee in the morning. Am I right, folks? Um, but anyway, he looks nice and snazzy in his teal suit. And I do really like the uh, coattails here, this fabric piece. I wish they would bring these fabric pieces for the clone commanders, too, instead of printing them on. But I digress. That's uh, for another complaint. And I mean, here it is. This is the completed model. You um, are not really going to have too many play features here. Uh, for 40 bucks, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, it looks good. It looks like a haunted mansion. It looks like a New Orleans style house. You know, honestly, this was interesting to build. I don't really see the value in having this open here. Your stickers are mostly covered up. You can't open this. This isn't like an openable play feature. You have to like actually take it apart. We can take a closer look at the interior and the stickers here. You got a couple of ghouls and gals down here. Looks like you have Dr. Octopus. Maybe not. You've got a uh, Radagast the Brown. Maybe not. You've got Medusa over here. Don't look at her too hard. You might get hard. Uh, you have a little Jester boy over here and then you have another boy with a little spooky ghost. So, I mean, those are cute little additions, but kind of, eh. And then, this is the piece that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Why? Why did LEGO make this piece? This is a one-by-one -one plate, but it's the equivalent of having two studs together. Why would they do this? This seems um, kind of unnecessary for a piece, a brand new mold, just to have something that you could just put these two pieces together. You could have just put another stud here on top. I think that's uh, very strange. What do you guys think? And I mean, that's it. This was a pain to build, very repetitive. All of this was very repetitive. For $40, I am a little disappointed in this set. It's not an instantly recognizable building. If I saw this sitting on somebody's desk and I didn't know anything about Lego, I would be like, oh, what's uh, this? New Orleans house doing here. And then you'd have to say, actually, it's the Disney Castle Lego set. And they'd be like, oh, okay, boys and girls. So, I mean, there it is. It's not so bad. Um, let's take a gander at what our spooky ghoul and see what he's going for on Bricklink. So here is your butler minifigure on Bricklink. He's going to run you about 986. Pretty surprising since he is an exclusive boy, but not surprising because who is he even? 
All right, Brick Skellies and Brick Skell Ghouls. What do we think of the mini Disney The Haunted Mansion set? Is it worth $40? I mean, look at the size of that thing. I don't think so. Even though you get a five cent a piece, part per piece breakout with a $40 set at 680 pieces, the build was not that exciting. It was very repetitive. The cool play features that you have of the interior are almost unnecessary completely. I mean, from far away, you have no idea what's going on back there. You really got to get in up close. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, your minifigure is fine. Just a ghoul. Nothing wrong with a ghoul. Overall, I'm kind of underwhelmed by this set. When I was at the Lego store, some guy was freaking out about buying this set. And it was selling out. Is this set doing well? Are you buying this set? Who's buying this set? All right, well, that's going to do it for today's review. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to give this set a good, I don't know, let's give it a two bats out of five. Not that great. Or let, let's give it a two mouse, two Mickey Mouse out of uh, five. So thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And tune in next time for more spooky Halloween-themed LEGO reviews coming soon.